sweetheart. Why are you still in your pajamas? <laughs> I thought you had an interview today. Yeah, I'm not going to that. I pay like $14 per hour? Who on earth would work for that? Someone who has bills to pay? That's who. But you don't have any of those, so you wouldn't understand. Have you seen the... You used all the milk. Oh, I... Uh, sorry. Did you need such a big bowl? Other people share this milk too, you know. It's not that serious. Just buy another gallon after work. It's easy for you to say you're not the one paying for it. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, buddy. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, good morning. <sighs> Why is it so cold in here? I'm glad you said something. I thought it was just me. Hmm. Did you turn on the AC? Yep, this morning. It's freezing in here. What temperature did you set it at? 67 degrees? Do you know how much electricity this uses? Well, it's hot. What else do you want me to do? Well, um, you can take off your hoodie, for starters. But then I'll be cold. Exactly. And you don't have to pump up the AC. What do you have to say? Uh, try not to use the AC so much. Okay, buddy? You guys are being so dramatic. I bet it's not even that expensive. Oh, okay. So you pay the electricity bill all on your own. Oh wait, you can't because you don't have a job. God, not this lecture again, please. Dad, can you tell her something before she goes crazy? It's okay, honey. He's still young. He's got time. He's 18 years old. When I was his age, I had two jobs, and I paid all my own bills. Ugh, I don't want to hear this again. I'm out. What? You're just gonna leave your cereal there? I don't believe this. He just thinks money grows on trees. Uh, he'll learn one day. Do we have any more milk? No, Daniel poured all the rest of the milk in this big bowl of cereal and then just left it. It's fine. I'll just drink my coffee black. Uh, why does our internet bill say that it's going up? Did you change our plan? No. Maybe Daniel did. Are you serious? You know he's going to say, well, what's the big deal? When he's not paying for it. I think we need to put our foot down. He's gotta start paying for things. You're right, sweetheart. I'll have a talk with him. Dad, the toothpaste is out. Can you pick some up after work? Um, <clears throat> sure, son. Daniel, did you change our internet package? Oh yeah. It was lagging on Warzone, so I upgraded our services. It's only like 40 more dollars a month. It's not that big of a deal. $40 a month is a lot of money. What are you doing? What? It's empty. No, look at this. Give me, let me see No, your... that, no, no way. I don't want toothpaste that's been in the trash. Uh, your dad and I will use it then. I'll get it. You can't just go changing our services without letting us know. It was lagging. What do you want me to do? Hi, I have a package for Daniel Ortiz. Look up, my package is here. Thank you so much. Enjoy. What in the world did you order this time? Yes, my PS5 is finally here. How in the world did you pay for that? Oh, I used your credit card. You used our credit card. Did he talk to you about this? No, he didn't say anything to me about this. Daniel, how could you charge something so expensive on our card without talking to us? It was only a few hundred dollars. What's the big deal? A few hundred dollars? Do you know how hard it is to earn a few hundred dollars? No, you don't. Because all you do is lay on the couch in your pajamas, drink the last bit of milk, pump the AC, and spend money on our credit card without paying for it. Relax, Mom. You're blowing this way out of proportion. Dad, can you tell her? Uh, your mom's right, son. You gotta listen to her. That's it. Enough is enough. 
I am returning this. So going forward, if you want to spend money, you spend your own money. So that you can learn that money does not grow on trees. What? No, this is so unfair. It's for your own good, Daniel. You know what? Fine. I don't need you guys to buy me anything. I'll get my own job and buy everything myself. Good! And I don't need to live here anymore either. After I get a job, I'm moving into my own apartment. Wait, Daniel, let's talk about... Are you sure this was all necessary? This isn't easy on me either. But I know in my heart that this is the only way he is going to learn. If you say so. The mom and dad stand there hoping Daniel finally learns not to be wasteful with money. The next week, Daniel starts interviewing for jobs. Because he doesn't have much experience, all he gets offered is an entry-level position. He hesitates, but after remembering he has bills to pay, he decides to take the offer and starts working right away. A few weeks later, he moves into his new apartment. Everything seems to be going great. That is, until he realizes how much money he has to spend paying all of his new bills. Daniel quickly sees how much even buying basic things like milk and toothpaste can quickly add up. It doesn't take long for all of his hard-earned money to disappear. Now that he's paying for everything himself, he becomes a lot more responsible to save on bills. A lot less wasteful to save on groceries. And he squeezes every last drop out of everything he has. Daniel finally learns the importance of not wasting money. And then one day, Daniel goes to pay a visit to his parents. Daniel, you look great. Come on in, bud. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. You look nice. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Mom. <laughs> I bought you guys some things. You got us some stuff. Where'd you get us? First off, I got your water filter. You guys spend so much money on water bottles, this will help reduce that cost. Oh, I never thought of that. I'm impressed. I guess that will help us save a lot, huh? Thanks. And I also got you double padded toilet paper. That way you can split it in half and get the most out of each roll. Well, maybe your mom can split hers in half, but I like the extra padding. <laughs> <laughs> well, if at least one of you guys do it, you'll save a lot of money. Oh, and I also got you this. Since you like oranges, I got you seeds to plant them. That way you don't have to buy oranges anymore. Wow, I am so proud of you, honey. But I'm confused. I thought you said spending extra money wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, well, it took me getting my own job and paying for my own bills. But I finally understand. Money doesn't grow on trees. Hmm. Well, luckily oranges do, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Sweetheart, you didn't take out the trash last night. Alex! You didn't take out the trash last night. Uh, I will later. Come on, honey, you know that's part of your chores. Besides, don't you want to get paid? Fine. Pay me first. <laughs> you know, I wish someone would pay me for making breakfast. Why would anyone pay you? That's your job. Breakfast 
Breakfast is ready. It's time to eat. Come on, you can play games later. Okay, uh, just bring it over here. I'm in the middle of a game. Alex, you didn't put the garbage bag in. You're distracting me. <sighs> just died. Thanks a lot, Mom. Well? I only get paid to take out the trash. If you want me to do that, then you're gonna have to pay me more. Alex, if you're going to do something, you can't just do it halfway. Yeah, whatever. Ow! Ow! Oh. Oh. Why'd you leave your Legos on the floor? It's not a part of my chores. I'm supposed to take out the trash, clean my room, and take out Max. I don't get paid to clean the living room. Wait, where's the ketchup? I'm gonna get the door. Can you get it? Oh, hi, Miss Johnson. Can I help you? Hi, dear. I just wanted you to know that I saw your dog poop in my lawn. Would you mind telling your son to clean it up next time? I've got a bad back and it's hard for me to bend over. Alex! Did you leave Max's poop on Miss Johnson's lawn? Uh, yeah, it's not my job to pick it up. I am so sorry. I will make sure it does not happen again. Thank you, dear. Alex, you can't leave Max's poop on people's front lawns. The last time I checked, my job is to walk Max, not to clean up after him. And if you want me to do that, then you'll have to pay me more. Oh, is that right? How would you like it if I said that every time you asked me for something? I'm not the one asking you to do anything that isn't your job. Really? So what exactly is my job? Uh, to cook me food, to do the laundry, and to pay the rent. Okay. Got it. Now, can you get me the ketchup? No. That's not part of my job. Get it yourself. The mom decides that she's gonna give her son a taste of his own medicine. The next day, little did Alex know he was about to learn a big lesson. All right, breakfast is done. It's on the stove. Uh, uh, bring it over here. I'm about to win. Fine, I'll just get it myself. Mom, there's no clean plates. Okay, so go ahead and wash one. What? No way. It's not my job to wash the dishes. Oh, well, from what I remember, it's, it's not my job either. Did you clean clothes, by the way? <laughs> okay, uh... Why are you giving them to me? You're supposed to fold them and put them away. Huh. From what I remember, it was my job to do the laundry. Nothing else. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to teach me a lesson. You know what? Forget it. I will just leave my food there, and I'll leave my clothes over there. It doesn't bother me one bit. That's fine. What the heck? Did the power just go out? Mom! What? The, the power's out. Oh, shoot. I must have forgotten to pay the electric bill. Well, I, how could you forget? I mean, it's your job to pay the bills. Okay, well, yesterday you told me my job was to cook you food, do your laundry, and pay the rent. I didn't hear anything about electricity, Bill. Stop it, Mom. How am I supposed to play my game when there's no power? This isn't funny. Well, I guess that's your problem. I'll be in my room if you need me. Okay, wait. You're right, okay? I should have put the trash bags in the garbage. 
I should have picked up my toys and I should have cleaned up after Max. I'm sorry. I understand now that if I'm trying to do something, I should never do it halfway. Do you really mean it? Yes, uh, look. Now, can you please pay the electric bill? <laughs> Just kidding. I actually flipped the power breakers to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Here, for doing your chores. Oh, thanks, Mom. Actually, uh, never mind. You don't have to pay me to do chores anymore. I never should have charged you in the first place. Aw, sweetheart. I love you. Let me do the dishes so you can eat. No, it's okay. I'll wash the dishes. You sit down and I'll bring you a plate. Okay, honey, we have one last present for you. Bet you're never gonna guess what it is. Oh, yes! I knew you guys wouldn't forget. Of course we wouldn't. <laughs> oh, my buddy. A book? You caught me a dumb book? It's not a dumb book. Just open it up. I think you'll like it. Like it? I hate it. I asked for an iPad, not some stupid book. Evan, just open the book, please. No, I asked for an iPad. This isn't fair. I don't want this dumb book. Evan. You don't understand. Now I'll be the only kid in school without an iPad. This is the worst Christmas ever. Honey, there are a lot of kids out there who don't get anything for Christmas. Yeah, but that's their problem, not mine. Okay. I'm going across the street to Brad's house. I bet his parents bought him an iPad. This is the worst Christmas ever. What are they even thinking? Merry Christmas, sweetie. Merry Christmas, Mom. Guess what? I've got a surprise for you. Wait, a Christmas gift? <laughs> but I thought you said that we couldn't afford one this year. I know, but I've been saving up because you have been so good. And I just wanted to do something special. Are you sure, Mom? Yes, baby. Yes. Go ahead, open it. <laughs> a book? You got me a book? I know. It's not much. I wish I could have got you something better. Mom, are you kidding? There are kids out there who don't even have Christmas gifts. I love it. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, sweetie. I love you. I love you too, Mom. This is the best Christmas ever. We've been waiting for you. I'm glad you're home, buddy. Look, I, I'm really sorry about what I said earlier. But, um, actually, I really love this book. And it's the best present ever. Oh. I'm glad you like it. Okay, now open the book. <laughs> what? M money? Is this for me? Yes! Yes, you see, the money for your iPad was in the book the whole time. All you had to do was open it. Oh my gosh! I can't believe this! Thank you guys so much! You guys are the best! Actually... 
Do I have to buy the iPad with this money? Well, no. I suppose not, but isn't that what you wanted the most? You know, I think there's something better I can do with it. Come with me. Excuse me? Here, this is for you and your son. Oh, but it's so much money. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Happy holidays. Thank you. God bless you. You sweet, sweet boy. Thank you so much. God bless you too. I'm gonna be asking the most beautiful girl in the world to prom. Imagine if he asked you for a moment. Imagine he's the quarterback and I'm the most beautiful girl in the school. Watch it, Daddy. Beauty is on the inside. Looks like she's finally here. On the outside. For the